<laughs> Good afternoon, YouTube. The Mary George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Body Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, we have a big show this weekend. It is, I think, the last show for this month for um, women's bodybuilding, and also mostly I would say for women's bodybuilding. There's some couple of shows I believe coming up for physique, I think, but this is really the last show for the uh, I think for both women's body and physique. So anyway, this show is a Tim Garten production. It is a Chicago pro. As you know, this is one of the, he's the one of the few promoters that still have women's bodybuilding to the show. As you know, next month's going to be the Tampa. And also, a connected show is the Miss International. As you know, that is a pro qualifier. And, um, you know, I hope some ladies, I, I told, hey, I suggested, hey, you want to get your pro card, do this show. If you're a physique competitor, all you got to do is do compete in maybe a weight class, middleweight, lightweight. And if you win the, uh, your, in your class, you get your pro card automatically. And you just do the overall to get invited to the Rising Phoenix. And like I said, this is, this is a good list. This is probably the biggest list in women's bodybuilding because, you know, this is, there's so few shows left, especially here in the States. You know, you got Tampa. And you also have uh, another show coming up. That's the uh, you had to rise, but that's technically that's the invitational. So you have to get invited for that one. And you know, and, and even though we talk to competitors, can qualify as Olympia. You're gonna have quite a few women who already got their qualification by winning shows. And also, you have three of the top uh, Olympians right now. So anyway, this is pretty good. And there's some major list. We have some Olympic level women. We have some women who are making their debut here. And also, um, I say it's just it's a good list. First off, we have here is also I forget forget. You also have masters. You know, we have quite a few ladies as masters. And, you know, if you notice, it's like about 14 women in the open part, but then you have two extras here in the masters. So it's, it's technically like 16 female bodybuilders. I wish some of the more the women in the masters compete a little bit more in the open, but we all know sometimes you don't feel comfortable in the open because of age differences. So anyway, first off we have here is the lovely Mrs. Mila Ash. And Miss Ash, as you know, she's been a two-time Olympic competitor. No, no, actually, I forgot. She's been at least a four-time Olympic competitor, you know, the last couple of times in um, women's bodybuilding, you know, like three, you know, at least like four or five times in women's bodybuilding, and then you know, as a physique competitor, she's been to Olympia. You know, I sometimes forget that she was originally physique, but before then she was figure. But I'm a big fan of Mila Ash. You know, um, she was I think top ten at the last show, and she did the Your Main and Muscle Fest. You know, but she didn't get qualification for Olympia for this show. So this is her opportunity to get Olympia in Chicago. Next up, we have here. Uh, the lovely Mrs. Patty Corbett. You no, know, Patty been in the game for a long time. Can you believe the lady? And, and, and is in her 60s. And still competing. She competed last year. She did Tampa. And she was also, she's doing both, um, I believe it's over 55 in um, women's bodybuilding. And um, I think over 40. And also, you know, doing the Open. So, you know, congratulations. Congratulations. Hope she does well. Next up we have here is Chris Coy. Now, Chris Coy is originally from Spain. And she's been competing for quite some time. Um, last time she competed was at the Europa Championship the year before the last year it was in Spain before the show was now moving over to the two bros in the UK. Um, she's competed, she's competing both in the Open and also in, I think, women over 40. Next up is, is the return of Hunter Henderson. If you remember, Hunter last competed in 2021 where she made her bodybuilding debut, got a pro card, and made her pro debut at Tampa where she took second to Moto Persole. For the last three years, Hunter has been off, you know, as you know, she started out in powerlifting. She's been doing that, doing powerlifting tournaments. And she was, you know, made a return this um, weekend. Uh, she's now still on social media, and I'm not sure too. I mean, impressive lady. At the time when she got in, she was in her mid-20s, I believe, about, I think, 24, 25. Now she's now in her late 20s. And still, I think from what I've seen her, she looks pretty good. Next up we have is one Nadia uh, Compass. Yeah, she's from Paraguay, and she competed last year in Chicago. You know, she was a physique competitor, but later on she switched over to women's bodybuilding. Next up we have is Lisa Kodri. Now, Lisa, you know, is from Canada. She's been competing in women's body for the last two or three years. She's been to Olympia back in 2022, and when she did Toronto. And she's been the last year, she was competing both in women's body and women's physique. Um, she switched back to women's bodybuilding at the uh, Open Championship. Now she's back again to doing women's bodybuilding. I thought we might see her do another show. We may not, but this might be an opportunity for her to try to get a little bit qualification. Next up we have is Christy, Christina Nally. Now, I met Miss Nally about a couple of years ago. Just the, I think, well, maybe the month right before she got a pro card at the at the uh, Miss International. As you know, she's a uh, major in the United States Army. 
And, you know, and I think she's also, I saw the interview with my man Glenn over there at the Amazon Fitness. She, now she might do Tampa after this show. And, you know, she's pretty impressive. Woman's 6'2". She's pretty tall. I think she's probably, right now, the second tallest woman in bodybuilding. There's, you know, right now we have um, uh, R.B. Meyer, who's 6'1". So, about 6 feet, 6'1". So, and she's doing women's bodybuilding or instead of over physique. Next up, we have is Sherry Priyami. And it surprised me when I saw her on the list. I thought most certain that Sherry, as you know, she's from Tampa. Actually, she's from Florida. I'm most certain she was going to do Tampa because she's done it before. But remember, she did this show after her debut at the Atlanta, Atlanta Pro back in 2022. Uh, you know, so, yeah, 2022, she made her debut in Atlanta. And then she did Chicago, where she took second to uh, Angela Yo that year. And now, more likely, we might see her. If she does not get her qualification at this show, there's a good chance she might do Tampa. It's all depending who else is going to do Tampa. If, if it's, it, I think it's a battle between, I honestly would say it's a battle between Sherry and Mela and possibly, I would say, Hunter. But Sherry shook pretty good. From the last year, she said that she wasn't even compared to uh, Anastasia Levanova at the um, Portugal Pro. But like I said, she's a great, great body. Also, as you know, she's represented by Eunice and uh, Jojo f- um, from Bad Rap. You know, so shout out, good luck to uh, Sherry. Next that we have here is Wendy, um, Matt, Wendy Sanchez. Now, we haven't seen Wendy since last year. She did Atlanta last year, and I think she did Chicago the year before. Um, this is going to be the first show she do for the season. I don't know if Wendy's, Wendy's going to do any more shows. Um, we, I mean, we talked to when she talked about she more shows close to the West. Now, there's a possibility she might do the show in Anaheim because it's a lot closer to her because she lives in Colorado. Next up we have is Dr. Uh, Kenya Squarey. As you know, Kenya from Canada. She just did the, um, you know, the uh, Atlanta Pro last Saturday and jumping into this show. This is, I think, barely four or five days since the last competition. You know, it's, you know, I'm, I'm just real impressed, you know. I mean, I think also, I think she knows she's from Canada. I think Chicago's a lot closer for her than she did another show. And next up we have a lady that I appreciate of any of you on my channel, the lovely Senorita Monica Maria Vega. And, you know, and she competed last time in New York. And also, she's also going to be doing the, some of the master shows, uh, both women over 40, I think women over uh, 50. I mean, impressive lady. I mean, you know, I enjoyed the interview with her. And last, now right here, next we have here is one Miss Lisa Weaver. Um, Mrs. Weaver, she's been competing for a good bit. She turned pro about a couple years ago, and this is going to be her pro debut. Next up we have is Heather Manuela. This is no doctor, Heather Manuela. She's from Canada. Um, you know, Dr. Manuela, it's been a long time she competed. I think a good maybe four or five years she competed. So this is going to be her return. And, you know, she was at one point with her physique, but she's been in women's bodybuilding in the past couple of years since she turned um, pro. Next up we have is um, Laura uh, Zoniga. You know, Mrs. Zoniga last time uh, competed at the um, Triple O Dynasty. And she was just doing masters, you know. And like her and Heather are both just doing the master shows. I think doing women's over 40, over 50, and I think that's about, and I also think she's doing over 55 with Patty. And also, she's going to be doing um, Masters Women's Physique, too. So, she's going to be, you know, across the board at this show. So, I hope she does well. And one person who I feel is missing, and I was from, while I was looking at her, I thought she might do the show, is Christina Mendoza. You know, Christina won the show last year. And, you know, question is what show is she going to do next you know it's only so few shows for the qualifications you know so possibly maybe tampa and she you know i think no she wasn't invited to the rising phoenix so she more likely i think we might see her doing tampa if she wanted to get a little qualification next one who i hope would do the show was uh jessica martin and jessica you know she took second to christina at um the chicago show last year and, and me and my, my brother uh, keith felt like she should have won it she had just complete muscle, just everything. I think, you know, great upper body, great, you know, development. I mean, good taper. I mean, I don't know. Me, like I said, I'm, I'm a fan, not a judge. So, you know, I follow her. She still, she's still training. Maybe she might do a show. As you know, there's a show coming out, out west. That's the uh, Anaheim show. Maybe she'll do that show because it's close to her. And that's the one person I thought might try to do the show is Sheena Ole. You know, Sheena just did the Atlanta show. She got third. After taking second at uh, Toronto, I don't know. I think um, Sheena might be taking a step back. Maybe she wanted to maybe wait for, maybe try to shift for Tampa, where she competed there um, back in 2022, where she got second to Chelsea Dion. Now, that could be a possibility. Or 
like I said, there is the show in the UK, um, the uh, Europa Championship that was part of the uh, in Spain, but moved to the UK. Um, maybe she might dress wait maybe to about September so she can try. Maybe put them on my size and maybe get an additional right for that show. It's a debate, you know. I don't know if, if that show is going to be for qualification for this year's Olympia or next year because you know usually after a certain amount of time you cut off where you are qualified for the Olympia for the year. And one person who I was certain I thought would do the show is the lovely Miss Mrs. Uh, Shana Boswell. As you know, she is from the Illinois area. She's not too far in Chicago. Um, and this is what I thought would be a show that probably she would jump on. As you know, last year she was the uh, Masters Olympia champion. And she's been a multiple-time Olympic competitor, both in women's physique and women's bodybuilding. So, quick question is, is Rashawn going to do Tampa? Or it would be my either to do Chicago. But then, like I said, the lineup between, you know, Mela and also uh, Sherry there. I don't know. But like I said, we'll wait and see. Or she might just take a year off. You know, this might be something she might be doing. Uh, here's the list for uh, women's physique at the Tampa Pro. This is a deep list, as it was like at, um, you know, at, at Atlanta. And, you know, I think really some of these ladies are jumping on because, like I said, this even though there is a little bit more shows for women's physique compared to women's bodybuilding, but there's a problem is one, two, two of these shows are going to be having a, a top living competitor competing there. That is both the Tampa and Texas. So, you know, some of these ladies feel like they need, need the right show to jump on. If, you know, early this year, it wasn't that many competitors. You only had five at, at the... um. At the uh, at the St. Louis show now, where the physique is gone for St. Louis, you had three at the Pittsburgh Pro, and you only had three at the Vancouver Isle show, and then you had big numbers at both um, Toronto and at at the Atlanta show. So this is good. I think it's like at least over twenty some women. I mean, be deep right here, and also there's quite a few ladies here competing in. Um, the Masters part, you know, it's Masters also has a good number of numbers. Some of these ladies might be seen in open both in Masters. Like I remember at the Atlanta show, just about nearly half of the women were competing both in Opens and Masters, just like they were, you know, at Toronto. Here we have is one uh, Paloma Barra, you know, she's from Mexico. She last competed at the New York Pro. She was in top five that show. Impressive physique, very good lines, very feminine. I think the look they want to see more in women's physique. Next up we have is Sarah Bow. Now I believe Miss Bow turned pro at the Toronto Super Show and made her pro debut. At, no, 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 no. She didn't turn pro. There was another girl. They looked about alike. There's another girl who turned pro at Toronto, but this is oh, Sarah. She this Sarah could last compete at Toronto, but I remember there was another girl kind of looked like her. So let's see how she does. Um, next up we have is a lady who I had on my channel before, uh, Miss Shamika Cash. You know, uh, Shamika she, oh, it was back in 2022. She switched over to figure and now she's coming back to physique as you know i had an interview with shamika cash remember i got a name wrong she saw it and we did the interview as you know she's in tennessee and you know, she's a coach and a trainer and i'm surprised she's um coming back i mean i thought after the last season i thought she was done but my guess you know you just can't stay away it's just like anything it's just it keeps pulling you back next up we have is one miss uh catherine castle as you know miss castle is from uh, from australia she turned pro some time ago she was supposed to compete at the atlanta show but I think something happened. I don't know. She was not on the list. You know, she wasn't there. You know, she was on the list for the show. But, you know, things can happen, especially traveling, whatever like that. In case she got gum all over Australia. So she might have to drop out. So she's doing this show. So I guess she had to change on her plans. Uh, next up, we have here one Miss uh, Susan Davis. Now, you know, Miss Davis has been competing for a good while. I think she competed last year. You know, she's been doing some powerlifting and stuff like that. Um, she's been a top level competitor in her career. Next up, we have here. I believe a lady making a debut. This is uh, Gia Kondo Diaz. If I want to uh, say Miss Diaz, I believe this is going to be her pro debut. I couldn't find too many other pictures of her, her, or her uh, last time she competed, and I believe that was in a, it looked like Nationals or USA. So can't tell. Next up, we have one Miss Trisha, Trisha Downing. Now, Miss Downing competed at the Triple O Dynasty, and I thought I might see her do some more shows. You know, maybe do the Vancouver or maybe another show, but. My guess, she just decided to take the time off and maybe work a few things. And now, I think she was uh, top three at the, um, yeah, she top three at the Triple O Dynasty, you know. Here we have here, one cup full of Kova. Link has been busy. You know, she did the Imperio last month. Then did the Portugal. Then just did Atlanta. And now she's here doing Chicago. As you know, she's been a two-time Olympia. And this is might be her 
maybe a last chance to get into the, um, you know, Olympia. I mean, like I said, there's still a few shows, but it's all depending on where these shows are going to fall in for this year or next year's Olympia. Next up we have is Anna Harris. Now, Ms. Harris, as you know, he's been in Olympia before, and she just got a qualification um, at the Atlanta Pro. A press for a great physique. Her condition looks pretty good. Um, there's a debate that mm, how she's going to place this show. As you know, um, with, I believe, uh, with some competitors who may not make that show, there's a good chance she might top, make top five. Like I said, with, instead of getting with um, Zama Benson doing both, um, you know, the Texas and the um, uh, the Tampa Bay pros, um, there's a good chance she might crack in the top five, especially if people like Anne and Marie Moon is not in the show or, as you know, um, Evie Ray and Jeannie Feldman, usually those either both Texas and at Tampa. So, you know, if those two are not in it, there's a good chance that she might crack the top five at this year's Olympia. Next up, we have is one Miss Rachel Heffman. Um, I've been in contact with her, and I just saw that she had an interview with my man um, uh, over at the uh, Amazon Fitness uh, Magazine. And um, impressive young lady, and this is going to be her pro debut. Uh, I hope to get a chance to talk to her. I can always reach out to her and maybe do an interview after the show. Next up, we have one Miss Natalie uh, Geron, and she competed also last year at the, uh, uh, I believe, at the uh, Chicago Pro. Um, she's been competing for a good while. I think this is going to be her second year as a pro. Um, we have here is one Miss Kristen Kresma. And, you know, I, I can't, if I name her, if I name wrong, I apologize. Um, she competed at the Portugal Pro. I think she was top 10 at the show. I'm trying to remember. Next up we have is Jai Ai Li. And she's from South Korea. She's been competing for a good while. She did Toronto uh, last month, and now this is going to be the second show for the season for her. She's been a Olympic competitor. She's graduated, she did quite a few shows in the United States. At one point, I thought there was supposed to be a, a show in South Korea for women's physique, but I don't know if they, it's still on the list. So I'll check it out. Next up we have here is one Miss uh, Stacy Lewis. Miss Lewis competed at the Omaha Pro. You know, it's a good number of women at that show, 15. Next up we have is Amanda Machado. Now, Amanda, she looked pretty impressive. It was a battle for top spot between her and Anna at the um, Atlanta, uh, Atlanta Pro. So if she, I don't know, a few days can make a difference. Uh, that's a big thing because, you know, and also sometimes you go for the different judges. The judges might like certain things about one athlete more than the other. There's a good chance she might get her shot here for the Olympia. Next up we have is a Sergeant. Um, Yvonne Pennington, you know, Sergeant Pennington is in the Air Force, and I can say this to all, all, all sorts of people, her and you know, Christina, as a citizen, I appreciate the sacrifice you made for our country. And, you know, she last competed in 2022. She took 2023 off, and she looks impressive. Let's see how her condition looks and how she has grown since the uh, year off. Uh, next up, we have a lady who have I pleasure to interview on my channel, and that's one Miss Haley Perry Storm. You know, or Harry, or Harry Storm Perry, I, you know, I used to go by that. As you know, she has done both the Ultima Classic. She did, you know, um, the Omaha. And impressive lady, you know. She's very passionate about bodybuilding and um, hope she does well. Next up we have here is one lady is uh, Xang Qi. And if I got her name wrong, I apologize. She's from China. She was a freaking competitor, but now she's, you know, making her switch to women's physique. Uh, we have here is uh, Marcy is, is uh, sorry Marcy Simmons, and she's been in the game for quite some time. We had not seen competing in a while. I think she last competed maybe around about 2018, 2019. So let's see. If before I've seen her on social media, she looks very impressive. Next up we have is um, um, Romana uh, Scottsy. As you know, she's from Great Britain. She's been to Olympia last year. She was top five competitor at the Atlanta um, Pro. Um, first of all, lady, there's the debate. I think is, is put up by the female body channel that maybe she should switch over to women's bodybuilding. But, you know, I've been in contact with her. Maybe I get into an interview with her and maybe ask her that question. If she thinks about it, that's maybe a division she want to move over to. Then we have here is Autumn Swanson. You know, Miss Swanson has been multi time with competitive women's physique. For the past couple of years, she was doing figure. And then she last year, she made the switch from physique to, from figure back to physique. She did um, the Atlanta Pro. She did Toronto. I mean, she's been kind of busy. She's impressive. She has good definition, good lines. The quick question is, her physique is the physique that they want to go back to for women's physique. You know, the more the tapered look, not as big, 
you know, good good condition in the legs, but not as much size. That's always the beat about this. Next up we have here is Nadia Vidal. As you know, Miss Vidal is from Canada. You know, she competed also last year in Toronto. She also did, you know, last year in Chicago, but she just did the Toronto Super Show before. Um, you know, first of all, lady, good physique. I think she does well this show. She might also, I think she's doing also the Masters uh, uh, class too. Um, right here we have here is one Miss Wendy um, Wilson. And she is competing in women's Masters over 40. And I think she's also doing women's Masters over 50. Next up we have here one Miss Pamela Matthews. And Miss Matthews is doing women's Masters over 50. And we have here one Karen, Karen uh, Phipps. Phipps, I think I got a name wrong. I apologize. She's also doing women's master over uh, 50. And we have with women's Eula uh, Ferrod. If I got a name wrong, I apologize. She is also doing women's masters over 50. And one person I want to shout out is the lovely young Miss Tamika Tucker. You know, she's originally from Chicago. So she's going, this is going to be her second show for a year for her pro debut, her second show. And, you know, she didn't do too well in figure. I think she was, like, next to bottom. I think she tied for, I think, uh, well, how many competitors was that she, in women's figure? It was quite a few. I believe she tied for 16. You know, because, you know, you stop after, stop after 16, and you just become, you know, 16 ties. It'd be, like, four or five people tied for 16. And, you know, I'm like, she, she was pretty good. And I think she, you know, being this is her own backyard, she might do well. You know, and I think, um, like I said, she's a impressive young lady and I hope she has a future. I know I don't talk much about figure as much because some of the competitors I don't know as well and the list is like long. So if I did talk about all the competitors, I would be busy all night long. So anyway, the Chicago Super Show starts tomorrow. Check-ins are today. The first part of the 18th is for the Masters. As you know, those competitors who are over 40s, or over 50, something like that, you know, those, they go with them first. And then you have, after that, I think you have um, that Friday, you have um, women's bodybuilding, physique, and figure. And the next one is the, uh, the other divisions. So I am going, I'm got some to do that early that day. So I know I'm going to miss the master's part of it. I might come back and check it out um, when I get done, see the, uh, the, the finals. Because I got something to do this morning. You know, I, got, I have to do my laundry. On, I do my laundry every Thursday. <laughs> so I'm going to check the Masters part. I might check, see the competitors, see how they do. And also, I'm going to, on Friday, since I got nothing to do on Friday, I'm going to watch the main open part of the show. So I'm going to check it out. So if you are a fan of this show, uh, buy the pay-per-view. Support these competitors. And also, um, just like I said, you know, just support it. Because the most definitely, um, that does help. Pay-per-views does help. And personally, I wouldn't mind being there if I could afford it. Maybe next year, somewhere down the road, you know, if money gets a little better for me, I might like to go to to Chicago or I might go to Tampa. It's all depending. But like I said, uh, check out the show. I'm going to leave the link in the description and check out the pay-per-view. This is my way, George Page, a.k.a. the Emperor of Human Body Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe. I'm out.